Hey everyone, Scott here, and today we've got some care package items from Colin V, and uh, he sent these things a little while ago. So I apologize, Colin, it's taken me so long to get around to doing this and thanking you properly on the channel, but thank you. Let's have a look at what he sent, and uh, we got a little stack here, plus one more item that I've set aside for now. And the first two books on top, this is a classic. Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. I have not read it myself, and I know, uh, you know, I know of its status and everything, and it's like I should. So here it is, and I've got a couple options. He sent the, this would be the original, apparently, and it's annotated, which that's good. That's probably helpful. Let's see what it, oh yeah, there's some annotations. Looks like some Bible references. Some black and white illustrations. Very nice. And then this is a retelling, I assume, in more modern contemporary English, which may be helpful in places, so that might even just be a good reference. Great. Well, I am without excuse. I have two copies now, so We have a couple of small books here. We have Win Out Over Worry from Guidepost Magazine. True Victorious Stories. A Prayer When You Are Worried. That sounds interesting. I'll have to check that out. Oh, Norman Vincent Peale. There's a, there's a name I recognize. Very good. And Man of God Walking by Faith. They who wait for the Lord shall walk and not faint, from Isaiah. Yeah, this looks like a small book. Looks like there's some tips on walking with God in adversity. Oh, this looks like maybe a devotional, like uh, maybe a week, two. Oh, actually, probably about a, almost a whole month in there. All right. Next, we've got a couple larger books, although this one's not real big. But this is The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. I think it's Tozer, could be Tozer. I'm not sure. But uh, we see Psalm 42, 1. As the heart panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. That's a psalm along with Psalm 43, which they're kind of one together uh, that I'm very, very well familiar with. Prayed through that many times. The Human Thirst for the Divine. So that sounds interesting. And this is not a real big book. It's a little, was it 120-some pages? This looks like it'd be a fairly quick read. And it says it was written by him on a train trip. He just wrote all night and had his rough draft. So uh, sounds like he really was pouring out his heart, pouring out his thoughts. And yeah, that sounds very interesting. And I was actually chatting with Colin V. recently about reading smaller books and kind of sometimes you get into some of these real big books and you get lost and you, you know, something that's a little more focused can be very helpful. So, yeah. And this was one he had told me he was planning to send if he found it, and he found a copy to send me. This is Wild at Heart by John Eldridge. And I know when I opened this, uh, Mrs. TSB was familiar with this title. She said that was, she remembers when this was a very big book, big uh, seller. Um, kind of uh, in the sort of, I want to say, um, how to live as a Christian man. What does that look like as manhood, etc. cetera. And, uh, you know, I do like to read those kinds of books now and then. So, yeah. This looks like another good one. So thank you, Colin. A lot of good books for me to get into. That's another one that's a little bit longer, but it's not real, real long. And then the last item he sent, and this was a surprise and uh, a really nice surprise. So I pull it off the shelf there. We have a New American Standard Bible in genuine brown leather, reference edition, by Foundation Press. So this is one of those 70s NASBs that uh, 
if you, you know, I've looked in, when I first started getting the Bible translations, a lot of the NASB guys, you'd see some who were really big on these, uh, preferably the 1977, but this is a 73, which is very close. And these are just really nice. If you find them in a thrift store, used bookstore for a good price, well worth it. Uh, some are hardcover. I have a video review of a hardcover copy. It's not a very good video. It was one of my earlier ones. And uh, this is genuine leather. It has a little... See that? It doesn't really have um, ribs, but it has these little marks here in the leather. It's kind of neat. But these are really nice. They're a great reference Bible. Look at that paste down liner. Isn't that just groovy? 1973 all over again. I'm not sure what that inscription says. I'm going to skip over it because I don't know how personal it is. But Lockman Foundation. Anyways, it's a single column, verse by verse, references on the outside. These are just really nice. If you are into the NASB, uh, the older 77, 70s NASB translations, these are just a gem. They really are. Uh, very kind of you to send this to me, Colin. Appreciate it very much. I don't read the NAS NASB so much, but I do use it as a reference because of how um, incredibly literal the 70s NASBs were. Sometimes I have it open when I'm reading in the NLT, for example. Somebody um, really went wild with the pink highlighter in a few places in it, but other than that, it's in... That's really the most highlighting in the whole Bible right there. It's in really excellent shape. So thank you. I will need to do a more in-depth review of this someday because, like I say, these are great Bibles. These uh, old 1970s NASBs. So there you have it. Uh, oh, yes, of course. Colin sent some artwork. I'm going to show it to you. There it is. I just kind of cropped it. I had scanned it and cropped it from, uh, he had wrapped everything in some newsprint. And so he sent that hillbilly wrapping paper. Anyways, thank you, Colin, for, for everything you sent. I appreciate it. Appreciate your support of the channel. Uh, always love hearing from you and from all of you as well. If you have anything you'd like to share, please do so in the comments below. Give it a like if you found it helpful or entertaining. And as always, if you're not subscribed, I invite you to do so. And to all of you, God bless. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you for the next one.